much more of these developments is New York Congressman Steve Israel. Congressman, thank you very much for your time. This, these, these men, these boys, some of them, were from right near your district. When you hear that and what you've heard about their profile, how big of a problem is radicalization? How big of a threat is this in New York? Well, look, they may be boys, but uh, these boys are terrorists. Uh, and uh, it's a reminder to us uh, that we have to double down uh, on our homeland security and our protection. And what a, juxt a juxtaposition that we have now. We've got threats against our malls. We have three people in Brooklyn who are threatening to hijack airplanes and kill the presidents. We have a guy whose identity we now know who is beheading Americans. And what are House Republicans doing against these threats? They're ready to allow the Department of Homeland Security to literally run out of money in 48 hours uh, because they're in a fight with the president over an executive order on immigration. This is not the time to play games and have manufactured crises with the Department of Homeland Security. This is the time for us to double down, be united, and protect Americans from those threats. Just, uh, just yesterday, the FBI Director James Comey said there are now investigations, active investigations of possible homegrown terrorists in all 50 states, all 50 states. What's your level of concern about that information, sir? And do you think the United States now is doing enough to battle ISIS, for instance? Do we need to increase our effort overseas? Uh, we need to increase our efforts uh, at home and abroad uh, and not shut down the Department of Homeland Security. Yes, this is a growing problem. When you know that there is a potential problem in 50 states, the last thing you do is shut down the Department of Homeland Security. Look, these three people in Brooklyn, if you take a look at what they were saying, one, they want to hijack airplanes. Two, they want to assassinate the President of the United States. Three, they want to three cop. They want to kill cops. The only federal department that protects against all three is Homeland Security. So we need to invest resources in Homeland Security, make sure they're on the job, and not put them out of work, which is exactly what will happen in 